Welcome everybody, it's a Crazy Ox. Thanks for tuning in to another Destiny 2 video. And today we're just going to be going over our usual updates uh, for the weekly reset on D2. So starting off, as usual, we'll just go over the basic powerful gear sources for old time's sake. <laughs> I'm guessing most people know uh, what all to do by now, but I still like to go over it just in case. Uh, of course, you've got your eight bounties each for the main people here at the tower uh, for Gambit, uh, Crucible, and Strikes, and the Gunsmith as well. Um, and then you've got your weekly bounties for Hawthorne. Um, you're also going to have um, Flashpoint, which this week it looks like is going to be on the Tangled Shore. It's different. It hasn't been there in quite a while, I feel like. Uh, as well as a heroic adventure, the Rifleman, help you get that progress. Uh, then on the moon, plenty to do. You've got your uh, Altars of Sorrow, or not necessarily Altars of Sorrow, I know I've said that in previous videos, but just killing nightmares in general across the moon, I believe it's 30, uh, and that gets you a piece of tier 1. Um, Luna's Calling is a little bit more lengthy and difficult to do, not super lengthy, but you have that as well. Um, Plus your replayable weekly story mission, um, and then your three nightmare hunts, which if you can knock out three will be powerful gear, uh, but of course master difficulty will get you a piece of pinnacle. Um, this week it's going to be the Fanatic, Crota, and Fogoth. Those are three nice ones. Uh, while we're here on the moon, of course you've got your Garden of Salvation for pinnacle gear, uh, and then the Pit of Heresy as well as the Prophecy Dungeon also for pinnacle gear. Jumping back into the tower, you've got your weekly stuff to do for the Prismatic Recaster. Uh, this includes your two weekly bounties as well as your means to an end quest. Uh, for the means to an end quest, you'll need to do the contact event on Titan, um, which this week is actually a little bit different. It's not uh, any of the regular three bosses. It was actually a new one uh, that I'll throw up on the screen here. The Will of Kira, who's like a Minotaur. Um, we got it heroic and everything. We, you know, charged up bank fully. So I'm not sure if it's uh, if it kind of ties into this week's means to an ends quest or not. Um, but it is a different boss this time. There's no special mechanic. It's just kill the big minotaur, and that's pretty much it. In strikes this week. Uh, You've got Nightfall the Ordeal as usual, that's another powerful gear source if you can knock out three, but if you can hit 100,000 points, it'll get you that pinnacle gear. Uh, strikes this week, it's a Void Singe, so make sure to throw on your Void subclass and jump into Strikes. As well as your Nightfalls, you've got um, the Insight Terminus, the Pyramidian, and the Hollowed Lair. And Gambit, as usual, you're going to want to knock out three matches between Gambit and Gambit Prime collectively. Uh, that'll get you a piece of Pinnacle Gear as well. And then the third is Crucible, obviously. Uh, you can knock out your four core matches for Pinnacle Gear or your Rotators uh, for Powerful, which this week is Mayhem and Breakthrough. We haven't seen Momentum Control in quite a while, so hopefully we can get that sometime soon here. Alright, and then Eververse here, we'll just go through our Bright Dust items real quick. Uh, this was actually in the Silver section a while ago, so we'll get back to that. Anyways, for the weekly offerings, um, of course this is Silver, you've got the Canopus Wing, which I guess Canopus is maybe like a new brand or, or um, you know, Weapons Smith that they're trying to push out or something, because we've been seeing a lot of this cannabis brand, whatever it is. Uh, there's the August Courser Sparrow. Looks like it almost has kind of a Moments of Triumph, uh, you know, look to it. Heated Exchange Ornament for the Last Word. Looks pretty cool. 
Ooh, that looks really cool, actually. <laughs> Too bad it's silver, but hopefully we'll see it in the Bright Dust section here before long. Usually some of those things tend to uh, rotate through through the season. Uh, the SK-1 Multiband Rover. Kind of an animated sparrow. A Dido projection for your ghost. And then the daily offer is the One Fell Swoop. Again, a sparrow. Got a nice little spoiler on the back. All right, now onto the bright dust. Uh, like I said, we've got the cannabis shell, which was in the silver offerings a couple weeks ago. It's kind of a strange looking one. Uh, you've got a ornament for the Izanagi's Burden, Father of Islands. I definitely prefer the Ronin um, ornament for Izanagi, but this one looks pretty cool too. Uh, you've got an Ennead projection for your ghost, which again I think was in silver not long ago. It's kind of just a nine themed projection, as well as this Chitin Slate shader. Not bad. Doesn't really fit my armor at least, but cool color scheme. All right, we've got the Pyrrhic Victory. Exotic emote here. The August Shell. Again, I believe it was in silver not long ago. The VG-17 Flying Fortress. Very geometric. Looks pretty cool. Uh, blue emote here, sign of approval. Good job. It's like a very Cade-esque emote. Uh, then the Intrepid Discovery legs. An ornament for the Arbalest, Violent Exorcism. It's kind of my favorite one I've seen for the Arbalest so far. Gotta save that Bright Dust for when the uh, Micro Mini comes out, though, because that is going to be an item this season. And then a Crown of Sorrow projection for your ghost. Alright, let me double check here, but I think that is all we have to go over. Um, just knock out your usual stuff this week, nothing big going on that's new, no new exotic quests yet or anything. Uh, we're still waiting for the Exodus Evacuation quest to roll around, for the back half of that quest uh, to evacuate the planets and, and further the Traveler's Chosen exotic quest. Uh, but like I've said in previous videos, I think that'll be probably closer to the end of the season. Um, but as usual, just let me know uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, just comment below and uh, I'd like to hear your opinion on everything going on with the, you know, the planets being vaulted and new exotics and kind of all those new updates coming out. So um, let me know if there's anything uh, that you'd like to see me go over in future videos um, and maybe anything that I may have missed uh, in the weekly update that you would like to see updated each week um, on Reset. So thank you guys for watching, and as usual, have a fantastic day.